Right, okay, so we uh, we weren't even going to be moving today after all the hassle yesterday with the breakdown. Today we were just going to have an easy day and relax, but uh, we've just seen that there's a narrow boat at the top of the Wigan flight looking to go down, looking to share the locks with somebody. Uh, it's much easier if you can share. We're a bit of a distance away, but we've decided that actually we'll try and join them if we can get there on time, share the locks with them and uh, yeah get down the Wigan flight so that that's the plan for today let's see how we get on A very interesting shaped boat coming up here. Try and capture it. Uh, try and capture it on the way past. Well, I've not seen a boat quite like that. It's almost like a mini uh, Norfolk Broads cruiser, isn't it? What is that? How would you describe that? That's super cool. Though. Oh wow! Look at the shape of the. Uh... The bow. Somebody must know what that is. It's two bridges in quick succession. You can usually see that. What was that for them? Anyone? Lovely cutting. Oh yeah. That's what they call a squiffy bridge. Squiffy. <laughs> squiffy, squiffy bridge. So uh, mooring spots have the benefits, don't they? But uh, not great for solar. These guys, I think, are saving up for the boat. Isn't that just pretty? That's fabulous. Just green, 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 green. Oh, lovely. That's interesting because that boat's uh, probably what they're thinking of painting touch in actually. There you go. Now about liberty. Are we all right? I'm not even going to touch it, she said. Somebody going with a chainsaw. Not going 
coming through there on a wide beam without um, some ravage. I do like that colour scheme, I know that's not for everyone, but I like that a lot. Surely no one lives on this one. Surely, come on. I bet they do. Green's kind of done to So the boatyard bus cafe. Got some uh, bit of a boatyard going on, and we've got this is where the Elebeck um, narrowboat uh, day hires from. So we saw one of the one of these yesterday, actually. Virtual we saw two. Yeah. There you go for anyone that's in the market. It's a boat here for sale. Narrowboat Rowan. Looking for a new owner. O double seven one three six oh nine zero eight three. Oh, that's a smart way to do it. So rather than paint the boat with the name, we've got uh, a handmade wood hanger in the window. That's really well done. Driftwood. Well done, people. That's pretty. Dead simple. Really, really nice. Right, you three, sorry we didn't make it in time before you went on holiday. Thing going on. Right, so we've made it. This is the top of uh, of Wigan Lock, so we're expecting to see a boat in the lock just ahead of us. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lovely set. Look at all of that. It's boat central. So we're just going to hang in this lot. There's a couple of boats, or at least one boat, coming up. Looks like one. There's no point in us going into the pound and having to control the boats. So we're just going to hang around in here. These two boats won't go anywhere. We're pinned. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello Marshall. Say something funny. Oh what cutie. Come on Marshall. They usually like the camera, that's the usual I know. They're not interested. That's a mini. Mini. Min. Don't fall in. <laughs> Bed. You'll see the ladder on this one that actually protrudes into the lock, so you've got to be careful not to whack it when you come in. Tell what you wish about you, you won't see it. is now looking very low indeed so we're both being extra careful to stick to the middle of the pound Is it? Just about to say, we're used to seeing like nice lock cottages, aren't we? And that is one, but not behind prison bars. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, I have to do that. What a shame. Bottom lock at full stock, maximum speed. Look at these guys, the volunteers have come down, they know we're in trouble, they've come down again to help. Absolute legends, the lot of them. Um, 
now I'm stay out of the way. <laughs> um, right. To you. Um, no, you stay where you are. My angel's just here. Um, what's the right? What's the short version? Um, Josh is poorly. Uh, of all the places to be poorly. The Wigan uh, flight is not ideal. No, it's chosen Wigan. Um, all of today was about just sort of like, how long will it take? Get get through Wigan flight without incident. That That's obviously not happened, what with um, Sue Bosch and herself. Now, um, so yeah, we're bottom right. We're bottom of Wigan flight. We're waiting for the RCR. Some uh, an engineer's due out in about I don't know 15, 20 minutes. Um, so far, really good service from the RCR. Um, just, just hope he can fix whatever it is. The problem. So I keep looking at right. So there's there's hooded um, lads going up and down the towpath on. Um, dirt bikes and electric bikes apparently these things do the thick end of 50 miles an hour um, known to the local police drug dealing uh, one of them's got a petrol can strapped to his back so um, yeah we're a little on edge so we've, we've stripped the uh, back of the boat of anything that looks electrical apart from Sue's phone um, so I'm down here because if the bikes come back then the GoPro's going away um, we need Josh fixing so that we can get some uh, some decent speed on. At the minute, we can only get tick over. It's not even well, it's not even really tick over. Um, what's happening is I move the Morse cut the Morse forward in neutral. Um, so without the gear selected, there's no revs at all. Nothing happens in either forward or backwards motion. Um, with the gears selected, can move forward but it is just a trickle of throttle it is so slow in both forwards and reverse gear so the good news is we can get forward and we can get reverse but it's taking forever to get anywhere and obviously it's difficult to control a boat at such slow speed so if assuming josh fires up again if rcr guy can't fix josh we're just going to carry on um, it'll take us forever but we're going to carry on and um just get as far as we can. Um, we have seen, because you don't want to break down here and you don't want to stop here overnight. Um, we, I mean, we've seen the best of people today, haven't we? Gosh, Steve and Michaela have carried on because they can't stop on this lock landing. They said, oh, we'll stop with you on the lock landing, but it's only big enough for one boat. So they've carried on um, a bit further up the canal. They've said they'll go no further until we ring them. Um, if we can then, limp our way to them let's assume rcr guy can't fix josh we're going to limp to them this is the plan and then they're going to tow us out of the danger zone up towards a place called plank lane or wherever i don't know there's a swing bridge at plank lane apparently that if you get through there it's all right yeah obviously we're hoping uh, rcr bod can just like fix whatever's up he's getting some ki serious kit cats <laughs> i'm going to give him all the kit cats we've got <laughs> He's getting KK'd. Uh, I, I'm te I've had a bit of a look down in the engine bay to have a go, um, try and work out what's what, and I think I can see the problem. The throttle cable is in a sheath, and connected to that is a metal bar. Um, but I can't. Um, I, I'm not going messing. While we've got some forward and some reverse. I'm not going to go stripping that, hoping that I can miraculously fix it when there's somebody who knows what they're doing coming so quickly. So, um, a bit annoyed that I haven't been able to sort it, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just not going there. Not as annoyed as you'll be if our CR man can't sort it. Wonder if we can borrow a horse. Do you know, it's funny you should say that because honestly, I thought to myself, I'll, I'll pull Josh down the tow, the towpath myself. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I will. I'll, I'll, and I, if it takes me till two o'clock in the morning, I'll, I'll just drag him down the the towpath. But um, and if we can't get some speed on, if we can't be fixed, and we've just got the trickle, 
Um, we're just going to cruise until we get to where we feel safe. It's as simple as that. And if that means that we're cruising at 10 or 11 at night, sorry to any boats. Um, it is what it is. So, anyway, it's enough for now. We'll just wait for the chap to arrive and see what happens. They want me to go to Runco next at Liverpool. <laughs> Jeez. So, can you say no? Or... Oh, we're private contractors, we're not. If we say no, we say no. It's, uh, I think you might tell them no for that one. It? It'll be like uh, nine o'clock at night when I get back to back home, if you know. And this is what the rate happened on my left. So I said I was going to be over for. Oh dear. <laughs> I suppose she's used to it, is she? <laughs> yeah. Rather pleasant, wasn't it? Pretty easy. Really pretty weird, actually. It was on the sill anyway, wasn't it? So, uh... Yeah, that's Ooh, look at the berries. Here we go, Plank Lane. It's quite a few cars, my angel. And trucks and cars. Oh, well, gonna get delayed, aren't we? Oh, look at my angel talking like a big dog. 
I'll Listen. be crying when I get up there. <laughs> you can do it the other way around, remember? I know, but I can't stop. And the moorings are just after. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put an alligator in the canal, apparently. Yeah, yeah, in Lancaster. Watch out. It's not true. It's not true. Why is it on that? I thought it might be. Check this out, listen. We have power. <laughs> We're back in the game. Thank you. Cheers for that. Yeah, we're going to take this one and uh, we'll take it. Oh gosh! We'll take it. After today, we'll we'll take anything. <laughs>